the head of Iranian Central Bank, Mr. Hemmati, uh, accompanied by a delegation of experts and businessmen, I believe, they went to Iraq because Iraq has a significant, uh, they have a significant debt to Iran and there is significant amount of Iranian money uh, held in Iraq that Iran can't access due to U.S. sanctions and the banking system. This was about a day after U.S. announced a new series of sanctions against, I read somewhere 14, some other place I read 18, uh, private banks in Iran, which experts have argued make it more, it make it much harder for Iran to even purchase uh, humanitarian and uh, medical goods. This is not humanitarian and like this is not charity. This is Iran trying to buy stuff. Although I, I mean, the reports I read were mostly by f foreign reporters because I think, to be, I don't see how it can become more difficult for Iran to buy anything because <laughs> uh, it's, the whole thing is cut off. So I don't. I genuinely was surprised there are, like, there are there are things they haven't <laughs> sanctioned yet. Anyway, you know, it was surprised to me. But they went to Iraq and they managed to get a deal. They say will uh, oh, I believe about five billion dollars uh, of Iranian funds will be released to Iran during the next couple of months. No details has been uh, you know announced. So this is all my guess, I suppose. Uh, but uh, it's the thing is uh, they deal deal it was the problem Iraq has is that Iraq for forty percent of its electricity, and I believe 20% of the natural gas they import, they rely on Iran. Iran is the cheapest provider. And I mean, there I don't know if you recall last year, there was protest in Iraq against Iran in Basra, against the Iranian embassy. They burned down the embassy, I believe. And that was due to the fact that uh, Iran had cut off electricity to Iraq because of its debts to Iran. And I believe I saw a report by BBC uh, Persia that r a few days ago, the temperature in Basra is around 50 degrees at the moment. You know, these these are places that, uh, wow. uh, according to climate scientists, will become partially inhabitable. Uh, sorry, you can't live there. That's what I mean. Uh, by yeah. 2050. So, you know. Uh, this is global warming in action, in, if you want to see how it relates to international politics. So when you have a 50 degree temperatures, people tend to get really angry when they don't have electricity <laughs> because you can't even turn on a fan and all you have is hot winds. And uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, Iran doesn't want to raise the tensions with Iraq. So they do want to work out a deal, but most of the money is related to Iraq's energy debts to Iran. Uh, I saw an interview with Iraq's uh, electricity minister, not energy minister, electricity minister. It was quite an interesting interview. He said that uh, he, they are going to try in the next three to four years to become independent from any source. He said that Iran provides the cheapest deal. That's why I choose Iran. It's not a political decision. If Saudi is even give us a better deal, I'll sign it right now. That's exact, his exact words. So uh, while usually they, you know, they always say that, you know, Iran is the puppet master in Iraq and all that, it does seem to be, to be more of a economic decision on the side of Iraq. And it kind of makes sense. Iran has, Iran's currencies of a very low value. Iran's pro production cost is about the same as Saudis, I think. So it makes sense. You know? uh, so, yeah, but uh, there are, you know, powerful forces in America, senators, uh, congressmen that really oppose uh, Iraq's deals with Iran. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the U.S. reaction. I didn't see anything uh, in the news about this. Not specifically about this, but Rick Perry has uh, last month, I think, visited Iraq and Rick Perry. Oh my God, Rick! The genius. Yeah, the genius. Uh, Is he sure yeah. he visited Iraq? Maybe he went somewhere else and he thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. 
<laughs> Araki self confirmed. Araki self confirmed. <laughs> yeah, Rick, he may have gone to a department of energy. Yeah. But, uh, that's a reference to his famous before yeah. he asked. Uh, the three departments and Ron Five, Paul, was... <laughs> a seventy-year-old man, had to come and help him. With them. Anyways, but then but... is he also still? Sorry, this is completely unreal. Yeah. But is he still the head of energy or something in the U.S.? Because Trump gave him a, appointed him to a big position. No, no, I think he I, he was yeah he was uh, he was the state secretary for energy, which uh, the, I remember that that was fantastic. Uh, the, the, he in the first week that he was announced as the sec- like, uh, secretary of energy, and then a nuclear power was under my control. Great, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> he didn't even know the parameters. <laughs> I think no. I, I think now he's a. If I'm not mistaken, now he's a senator. But let me check that. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Wait. He's a for yeah former secretary of energy. Oh, so he didn't even last Trump's term. No, no. But what is, is he normal? now? Uh, for Trump's administration, very normal. Like no, yeah, true. A, for Trump's has administration, has a turnaround. Yeah. The period of like a week, <laughs> like. <laughs> what By was it? You... <laughs> fucking hell! Scaramucci got got fired before his contract begun. He got fired in the trial. For it. <laughs> By the time he found the toilets in the White House. <laughs> So guys, where is oh exit? <laughs> <laughs> is there a kettle or a microwave around here? Oh, my time's uh, over. <laughs> at the end of he left office in 2019. Car- All right, there's I think he's nothing right now. That's but good. I yeah. mean, some of these guys like him and the Bu- and the other Bush who ran who ran a few years ago. I mean, they're just even a level below. <laughs> The other politicians. So. Oh man, <laughs> I would have loved him to have been present during the 2016 primaries. Trump oh. would have made a oh yeah interesting case out of him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. So U.S. is generally U.S. is trying to push Iraq towards Saudi Arabia or its own um, its own energy uh, sources and stuff. At this, I mean, yeah. Uh, so U.S. is not happy, but at the same time, U.S. also doesn't want to undermine the situation so much that it creates chaos because they do still rely on not them, just the international economy to a large extent relies on uh, the oil coming from southern Iraq. So they don't want to you know, agitate too much, probably, probably. Yeah. What's so interesting? So pretty much the new story that unleashed this entire conversation is that the Iraqis will pay back some of the debts that they have towards Iran, right? They it seems according to our according to the head of Iranian Central Bank, according to his Instagram post, <laughs> they have worked out a deal to get some money out. He was very short on this. I think he mentioned five billion. He was very short on the specifics, but I. Uh, but even before that, I think before they went there, they announced that Iraq has three billion dollars of st- outstanding debt to Iran. So it's probably related to that, and some money maybe from some other countries going through Iraq. Yeah, and any ideas why this is happening right now? Oh, it's because it's summer. Uh, because it's uh, oh. the weather is becoming hot. No, I'm seriously. And uh, you know they don't want something that happened last year to happen again. It's it's kind of it's a every year. Uh, uh, do you, like there are some issues that you know we think we are very independent from nature and all that, but we are not really. And yeah, the, this is becoming an issue because weather is getting hot. That's why I mentioned it, but I forgot yeah. to link. No, honest. no, you're right. So they want to make sure that the Iranians don't cut off their gas supply. Their gas, yeah, and because I believe, for example, in Basra, the electricity is from produced from natural gas powerhouses, comes from there. So oh. uh, yeah, I think that's why it's happening right now. Okay, perfect. Anything? Any other final points to add to this story? No, no, but it seems to again signal to a. 
situation in Middle East that we've reached a stalemate between Saudi Arabia, Iran, or US, whatever, uh, sides are sort of sort of backing away a bit from tensions. You had Saudi, uh, I believe, foreign minister hinted at the fact that the, they might start, uh, you know, they might repair their relations with Qatar. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, every seem like especially the Saudis seem to be more willing to play ball these days with the other regional players. Uh, so you know, we'll keep an eye out to see if any further developments. It will, it will be. Okay, so on that note, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you loved it, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you all next time. No, if you liked it, subscribe to it. If you like it, subscribe. <laughs> don't, don't just love, not for love. <laughs> yeah.